Hello? Yo, Benny. I'm having a party tonight. You want to swing by? I don't really do that sort of thing. We'll start doing it. Sure, I'll uh, start first thing next week. Look, Ben, there's a choice in front of you. To sit in your room and do homework and touch yourself all night, or to come party with your best buddy. Alright, maybe. Bullshit, get over here. I said maybe. God only gives you so many cake stands. See you, Cam. Dude, I swear to God. The one time I go out, look at my face. Dude, at least you got a free nose job, right? That's exactly why I don't listen to you. So you're telling me the one time you decide to go out, the one time you flip over your handlebars, that's enough reason to never try again. That's exactly what I'm saying. <sighs> All right, listen, it could happen to anybody, right? So just take me, for example. Last week, I was going to the health center to get my eczema cream, right? But I was trying to get there quickly and I just had pad thai, so didn't sit too well in my stomach and I just shat myself up, down, left, and right, dude. And you can't go in with shit stains all over yourself, so I had to turn around and go back without my eczema cream. And my leg's been itchy all damn week. I don't feel like that applies to me. I don't think it does either. <laughs> I'm not saying that I was struck down by some higher power or anything like that. There's just... There's a reason I am the way that I am. I stick to my routine. I do what I do and I'm in a good place because of it. I don't see any reason why I need to stray from that. I just, I, I'm gonna say it again, dude. I think it was just a freak accident. I really think you need to let it go. I don't know. I feel like it could be significant. Was it significant when I shit myself? <laughs> Certainly threw your day off. It, yeah, it definitely <laughs> did. But listen, the only reason I shat myself was because I had pad thai for lunch, right? The only reason I had pad thai for lunch was because the only other thing they were serving was taquitos. But I already had Mexican food for breakfast. Okay, bear with me here. So I had Mexican food for breakfast because I don't believe in cereal. And I don't believe in cereal because my mom would always only buy grape nuts. And if you're trying to tell me that my eczema on my leg is somehow related to my mother's fiber addiction, you can just drop it. Some things just happen. So now consider this. I had a dream recently that my ex-wife was condemned to push a boulder up a mountain for all eternity because she overcooked the borscht for dinner. No matter the date, place, or time, she had one thing on the agenda, to push that boulder up that mountain. And at the end of each day, that boulder, just before it reached the top, rolled right back down. Yet there she was the next morning to push it on up again. So, is she free? You'd probably say not. But, does her life have meaning? Let's think about that.
Don't do that. Why not? Because if you do that, then I'm gonna go here, then you're gonna go here, and I'm gonna go here, and then you made it at H7. But you don't know that I was gonna do that. What else were you gonna do? I'm seeing moves ahead, baby. You know what to do. Hey buddy, it's Cam. I know you got a lot on your mind, but I feel like a fun night could really help you out. I'm having some people over tonight, and I'd love to see that beautiful bruised face of yours. I really hope to see you there tonight, bud. Peace. Professor. What happened to your face? It's been a weird couple days. Professor, Saturday night, I tried to go to my friend's house, and I crashed my bike. I didn't even make it there. I was all scraped up and bleeding. And then I stopped riding my bike because the chain was messed up. And then some dweeb kicked my ass and chest. And then a guy stole my bike? And if I'm being honest, I can't stop thinking that I've been set on some path, some dark path, that I had no choice in going down, that all started from a random thing. Well, what makes you say you weren't on this so-called path in the first place? Because if I, hadn't, if I hadn't gone out of line and gone to the party, I wouldn't have crashed my bike. If I didn't crash my bike, I wouldn't have been late to things, I wouldn't have gotten my bike stolen, and, well, I wouldn't be sitting here with a giant bruise on my face. Well, you definitely didn't choose to crash your bike, but to respond to your point, I'd say the only real choice is the one that actually happened. You were just responding rationally to the feeling of wanting something to do. The only choice was to go and do it. What's so wrong with that? If I didn't have a choice, then what control do I have? I mean, what's the, what's the point? I'm not sure there is one. And I'm supposed to be fine with that? Look, Ben, that might seem strange, but I would argue it's your best option. Either you're responding rationally to life happening around you, or you're responding randomly. For your actions to have some inherent meaning, you'd have to have multiple options to choose from that could all be rationally explained and traceable back to the origin of your causal chain, uh, this so-called path. And we have no way of proving you do, rationally or randomly. You can't have it both ways. And I prefer to act rationally. You're a logical thinker, wouldn't you? No, no. No? No, because... I mean, on a conceptual scale, I see your point. But in reality, the, the, that doesn't really matter, does it? How do you mean? You can't go through life that way. Well, sure you can. It just makes you a rational decision maker. Otherwise, we're just floating around blindly. I made a decision to get on my bike. Just like I made a decision to run after the guy who stole it, or, or even to come here. And even if I didn't have a choice, I still did it, and that means something, doesn't it? Tomorrow, you're gonna wake up and come here and think that your next move doesn't matter. H how can you live like that? <laughs> I don't really have a choice, do I? Anything else I can help you with? <laughs> no.